if I had to boil Paul down to one phrase or one sentence instead of one page and one very long German type sentence, I would simply say that for Paul, Jesus is Lord. Beginning, middle, and end of story. That is, in many ways, the gospel. Reading Paul was an invitational book. I had other things going on at the time, but it sounded like a good project. So I took it on and I loved writing that book, trying to get everything I knew about Paul down into what well, was supposed to be about 100 pages. It was more than that. I think as I was writing that book, I began to see that Paul was a real live human being and not just a set of ideas or, or a theology waiting to be uncovered. And trying to see him as a person who was dealing, say, with being in prison and writing letters, that connected me to, to Martin Luther King. It also, the connection there also took place because of what I began to see as a, as a more specific interest in what we today would call issues of peace and justice in Paul that I wouldn't have seen without sort of viewing that through the lens of Martin Luther King. And then with, similarly with Dorothy Day, although there it was a little bit more uh, her ability to keep sort of social justice and spirituality together. Not that Martin Luther King didn't. And there were other figures that say similar things happened. So I began to read Paul through the lens of real people, hopefully without distorting Paul, but seeing him as, as, a, as a real human being. When we think about people like Martin Luther King, or if we think about Dorothy Day, or other few other people I mentioned in the book, I don't know that they were always necessarily deliberately working out of a Pauline framework. But what I think is true is that people who who are living consistently with the gospel message are going to in some way, shape, or form end up looking like Paul because I think that's what Paul was doing. His life was an kind of an embodied gospel. Not perfect, none of us is, but so I think the similarities are because of their ultimate connection to Jesus and not necessarily their ultimate connection to Paul.